Hello everybody, welcome to Harajuku. That is Harajuku Station, the new one right in the center of your screen. That's the Dokomo Tower in, in Shinjuku, which is about a 20 minute walk from here, depending on how fast you walk. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about a controversy that's going on right now in the city of Tokyo, maybe even the world. Due to the Olympics and the pandemic, they've kind of collided here at Yoyogi Park. And I wanted to talk about this because it is in the news and it is an issue that I've known about for a long time. And, and, and I'm glad that yesterday they finally came up with an answer. Yoyogi Park is one of the bigger parks in the city of Tokyo. You can see it right here. This is Harajuku Station. This is Omote Sando, which is right there. This is Takeshita Dori, which is the very famous place where um, youth fashion and all these uh, uh, plastic pop shops come up. And then right across from it all, and Meiji Shrine right up here, but right across from it all is the um, Yoyogi Park. And we're going to be going here and discussing about the vaccinations and the uh, Olympic viewing, which has been at the forefront of a huge controversy. And we're not that far away, so let's get walking. I came here on the Choda Line, which is right there, the Meiji Jingumai or Harajuku. A lot of uh, tourists didn't know that Harajuku was there, so they added that a few years ago. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. So the Olympics is starting in less than two months now. And for the greater part of that, uh, the planning for, for this has been, I don't know, it's been in the forefront because of the pandemic and the lack of tourists coming to the city of Japan, a city of Tokyo. As we see here, a uh, reminder of the 1964 Olympics, you can see that on this bridge here, which is quite interesting, the world coming to Japan. It's a pretty unique time, uh, 1964. And, and if you look around the city, you can still find a lot of the uh, reminders of that era. There's the Yamanote line going by, and Shibuya in the distance there. But the controversy is this, and there's the entrance to Yoyogi, Yoyogi Park. Um, they wanted to make this one of the public viewing areas for the 2020-2021 Olympics. But there were no tourists coming. So who would be coming out to watch at the mass viewing pl places? Probably tourists, right? Because we all have TVs here in, in Tokyo. So that wasn't even the, the, the biggest controversial issue. It was the fact that to make this viewing, plat uh, viewing area, they also wanted to cut down a lot of trees. And for everybody or anybody that's ever been to Yoyogi Park, especially during the Sakura season, cutting down trees is a, is a non-starter. I wasn't going to let that slide. So I was very pleased to see the news yesterday that they have changed that plan, thank goodness, to making this a mass vaccination center. And we're now looking at the entrance to Yoyogi Park right now. So this is going to become a mass vaccination center on June 8th for the police and the firefighters. And that's really good. They now have a place to come. And over the course of this live stream, I'm going to be explaining to you a little bit about what's going on here with the rollout to the Olympics as Yoyogi Park becomes in the forefront of this controversy. There's the gymnasium for the 1964 Olympics. It's a beautiful building and it's gonna be re recycled and reused in these Olympics, which I'm very happy about. All right, let's get moving into Yoyogi Park as I talk more about this controversy. What a beautiful day. All right, the vaccinations in Japan, some good news I have here to, to report to you. Uh, according to news sources, and I have put some of those news sources in a link in the description here, as well as a map to where Yoyogi Park is if you're following along. Um, Japan's vaccinations are now at 485,000 a day, which is really good news. That means they have come really done a good job trying to get the vaccinations, vaccinations up. And I think uh, Prime Minister Suga's whole government relies on being able to do this spe more speedily. And by the end of, of June, he wants to have 1 million a day with a population of about 130 million. That's still a long ways to go. Here's a map of Yoyogi Park, just to give you an overview. It's a pretty large park. Um, if you ever try to find a friend who's waiting here at the Sakura season, the cherry blossom seasons, good luck with that, because <laughs> it's pretty crazy. 
Um, we're here at the Harajuku Gate, and uh, we're going to walk straight over towards the center field here and just completely take in the park. So if you haven't been to Yogi Park in a long time, including me, this is going to be a pretty interesting experience. Hopefully the signal stays strong. I'm a little bit worried about that. Chen, Lassen. Good day, John. The Aussie softball team were first to arrive on the scene in the Olympics. That's true. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. The Aussies are tough. It's going to be a good battle up there in Fukushima with the uh, softball games being played up there. U.S. team is also very hardcore, so see those teams battle it out will be very, very uh, good entertainment. All right, here's the gate to Yoyogi Park. As I was saying, the vaccinations are coming, uh, are coming uh, a lot heavier as a result of more mass vaccination sites opening up. Um, this site was, it was supposed to be a viewing place for the Olympics, but it didn't make any sense. Japan eventually comes to its senses. Uh, it, they just need a little bit of time because in Japan, there was an announcement in English. Interesting. Also, if you're on a bicycle, do not ride in the wrong direction, as it would be very dangerous. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. I think they're starting to change some of the signs, too, to help out with people with the mass vaccinations. So the announcement just saying, if you're riding a bicycle, don't go in the wrong direction. You have to go this way around, the cycling. All right, so Japan is, let's get back on target here. Japan has 485,000 uh, people a day getting vaccinated, a huge jump from where it was not too long ago. So all that complaining might have helped, <laughs> but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yes, that shop is still open. All right, do you see this sign is very significant here? It says here from the 1st of June to the 10th of, uh, 4th of October, this is going to be a, a live site for the Tokyo Olympics. That was changed yesterday. The sign is dated, so it's kind of neat to see that it's still here uh, telling us the wrong information. From yesterday, Yoyogi Park changed from a Olympic uh, live site to a mass vaccination center. Tokyo finally getting the priority straight here, knowing that um, the mass, vast amount of citizens here do not want the Olympics to take place at all. So it made sense not to do that. It says here that the construction start, was supposed to start yesterday until July 22nd, so one and a half months, to cut down trees and make a live site. I think that's so that would have been ridiculous anyways that the Olympics were doing. I don't know who came with this plan. Maybe ex-Prime Minister Modi, who has made many questionable calls, um, but, you know, is a good family man, so I can't really criticize too much. Um, it's, it's going to return back in um, um, August 24th to a live site for the Olympics, all right? So this is a mass vaccination center for a few months. Then it's going to turn into a live site for the Paralympics, okay? So it's very important to notice here, it says Olympic and Paralympic um, viewing platform. So yeah, I don't know if they're gonna cut down the trees. I hope not. I will come back here and hug those trees. They'll have to tear my arms from the tree, all right? How dare they even think about cutting down a tree for a viewing site for a, a two week event, okay, right? Welcome to Yogi Park. Um, yeah, everything's going a little bit better in Japan, better than expected. Um, <laughs> I didn't have very high hopes, but the mass vaccination centers that have opened up, they're, they're carrying the uh, Moderna vaccine. Um, they're being administered now to people over the age of 65 at a very fast pace now. Um, they've found ways to work it out. It just took a long time. The reason why Japan's vaccination started late is because that they were very, they wanted to do testing inside of Japan and didn't accept Pfizer and Moderna's um, international testing. They wanted Japan-based testing. 
So everything was delayed by two months, which in Japan adds another month or two, because Japan is a country where decisions are made by consensus, and it takes quite a long time, and it is very, very hard sometimes to be patient. I mean, there are some advantages to dictatorships <laughs> in, in pandemics, maybe, but I like to think that in the consensus, we reduce risks that might harm the public, and uh, uh, in the end, it might be a good thing. However, in this case, it maybe wasn't. And let me turn it around here so you can get a nice view of Yoyogi Park. Still some people here. You can social distance and, and uh, remove your mask. But we are still very much in the pandemic. One of the big, um, the, the, the big catalysts to Japan being more open to the vaccines, because there were a lot of anti-vaxxers here, but that's changing so rapidly. Do you know why? Because of the U.S. and the news that we see every day that the U.S. is getting back to normal, people are going out, summer events are being held, um, the, the public is, is, what, 80% vaccinated or more in many states. This has caused Japanese to see all of the fun on TV and say, why aren't we doing that now? So people are starting to, to wake up and probably Japan is going to be very good at getting all of the citizens vaccinated really quickly. Just depends on the government um, trying to get those vaccines into the arms of people, not having enough staff in order to do that. Japan has a shrinking population and a very small medical population to, to do this kind of stuff, as well as take care of, of all the other people. Um, some of the hospitals were, were having problems with, with beds to help the elderly who had dementia and other problems, turning them away, which is really bad. So um, we have to keep the normal medical system running while also administering these vaccines. So uh, I'm hoping that they can train other people to do that, like dentists, which have been sanctioned by the government as um, vaccine givers here in Japan. But we're starting to, we're starting to get uh, move forward on this. Um, for those joining us right now, we're in Yoyogi Park and we're going to be walking now from Harajuku Station to the center of the park. Hey Bradshaw Studio, nice sunny day. To the center of the park to see how the construction is going for this max vaccination site. Yesterday, Governor Koike changed, changed the direction very wisely. Um, addressing citizens' concerns that we weren't doing enough for the vaccinations and too much for this Olympics. And this park was changed from a viewing place during the main Olympics uh, in, at the end of July to a mass vaccination center for firefighters and police officers who definitely need to get vaccinated. So it's a very good thing. First responders, people on the scene. And for those of you who used to live in Japan or have visited here before, this is a de definitely a trip down memory lane. Hope the signal's holding strong. So they are still pushing the Olympics. There's no more pushing, it is done. They are doing it. There are already teams here in Japan, training and getting ready. The Aussies arrived a few days ago. For those joining us here, once again is a sign uh, telling everybody that this is uh, a live site for the Olympics, 2020 Olympics. That has now been changed to mass vaccination. We're, we're going to investigate. That's what we do here, live. If you have anything that you want to add or questions, go ahead and ask away. And I'll, I'll do my best to try to answer it as we walk towards uh, the pond, the fountain in the middle, which is a big meeting place during those cherry blossom days. You can hear all those crows too. Kind of creepy. Jennifer writes in here, in the 1980s, there used to be punk bands lined up and down. They're still here, just it's not so wide as, oh, look at this, we can't go any further? What's up with that? No! Look at that dangerous bird taking a bath. one of his disciples. All right, he's not bothering us, we shouldn't bother him. Love and peace. That's how you sun yourself in Japan. Oh my God. All right, the bicycle is turning away, so that means we're going to have to go around. 
Let's just take, take a quick look and see at the situation before we walk around. We're prohibited to enter from this part and they've quarantined, I guess that's the word, but fenced off this area so no one can, can enter through here. But you can still ride and r ride your bicycle and run around Yoyogi Park, but you just cannot enter. In the distance over there, you see men in blue uniforms. It's very X-File-ish. Some sort of government conspiracy happening in the distance. Well, which is basically changing the plans from live viewing center to mass vaccination. Looks like most of that work's happening on the other side. I think we can get a closer look if we walk around this way. By the way, I'm gonna be doing another live stream following this uh, walking from one area from Harajuku, I think, to Shinjuku in another live stream in about a little bit after this. I don't want to get around that way. Should I go this way or the other way? I don't know if there's no easy way. I guess we're going to have to go this way. I don't know. Do trees block 4G, LG, 4, uh, LTE 4G signals? Right, R and R. That is exactly right. This is the mass vaccination center. David R writes in here. Thanks for keeping us informed. Good to hear Japan is seeing more vaccinations. Indeed. Maybe one day we will be. Oh, you creepy bird! Do not try to do. There's a whole family of them. I don't know if this is safe. Oh my gosh, gangs of them here. Do they know I'm here? Do they know who I am? You say that because we've had many run-ins with other gang members on their side in different areas of Japan, but not in this, maybe this is a different gang, I don't know. Gosh, what's he saying? It can't be good. Oh, look, there's a feather. So it seems like the signal is very bad in here. Um, might have to, to jettison the park. This could be because of a wave of, of crows blocking the signal with their wings. This is so crow land. All right, you can see inside of the park, a lot of these are sakura trees. Um, let's see if I can get the volume a little bit better here. So a lot of these are sakura trees and... Um, I'm not gonna, Jennifer says jump the fence. Really? I don't think I can. And look, there's patrol here. He's patrolling the place. like. This is like the X-Files. There's government workers patrolling and stuff like that. He's, he's doing a perimeter uh, check. He's one of them. So yeah, for those that, that haven't been in Yogi Park for a while, right now nobody can go in here. Right now staff, um, they're raking and cleaning. Looks like one of the volunteers over there. but this is turning into a, max vac a mass vaccination site. The plans altered yesterday. Um, Governor Koike making that decision um, rightfully, but I'm pretty sure that before, they can't just make a decision right away. It takes a while to reach a consensus with everybody else and get on the same plan. And it's smart to do that. They, there was no rush to change the plans, but it just worried a lot of people that they were making a mass, uh, they were making a, a live site for the Olympics, even though there's no tourists coming in here. And here you can see that they're kind of um, bringing some people in to, uh, to talk about the park here, which is really cool. There. So it looks like this is part of the construction crew. Doesn't look like they're hauling anything. 
but it seems newsworthy to have them in the background going by here. Should I do this? Maybe they'll honk the horn. All right, I'm gonna jet, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm pretty sure in this um, Blair Witch area, the signal is not good. Don't oh, look at him jumping, Jim. Do you see that? They walk. If you see, if this is Minecraft, you see little black bumps jumping up and down. That's a crow walking like a human. You know, crows were in that, some of the, the worst horror films. Well, one in particular called The Birds. All right? They ripped humans apart. Yeah, well, two can play that game. Ah, ah, ah. I know their language. You have to sound more murderous. Tor Toro Poco writes in, hoping you get vaccinated with your first dose soon. I hope so too. Matt Engstrom, hi John. Um, how, are, how is your son? My fiance is home from deployment. I went to, went, I want to come to Japan so badly. I will see if my fiance can get some station there. That'd be awesome if they could. Tell your wife and Leo I said hi, be safe. Thank you, Matt. That'd be awesome if you could get stationed here. I just got a, a, a message from somebody at uh, Atsugi at the at the uh, military base there. It, all the bases are closed, but uh, you know I've gotten invitations by from a lot of service people to to come and visit, and I would love to do that. I would love to tell the story of some of the bases too. There's a lot of history behind it. That'd be really interesting. So we're we're, we're now walking away from the center. We can't get much further. Here's a sign telling you to wear your mask. Cough etiquette: wearing a mask. I guess you have to wear a helmet too. I don't. Gargle and wash hands, avoid crowds, keep social distancing from uh, Tokyo Park Association. Look, I'm trying to protect the people here by telling the crows to back off. If you notice that they're not in this area, now they are. Oh my gosh. It's a big one, right behind me. We can go in this direction, take a, a quick look at uh, the Olympic area. If you were to walk this way for about another 10 minutes, you would get to the public toilets <laughs> that, that are made of glass, where you can take a whiz and let everyone see you if you choose. But you can also make the glass opaque. If the crows want revenge, they don't have much time. I am now leaving the park. I do like how Yoyogi Park puts these maps right onto the ground. There's so many people who walk through here, right? This makes it pretty easy to walk and just see exactly where you are in regards to the park. We're down here. Yeah. And Meiji Shrine is not too far away. Beautiful sky. Look at that blue sky. No wonder the crows are going crazy. We haven't had we've had rain over the last couple of days. And it was cold. Very cold yesterday. Let's get moving. He looks confused. He turned his head to the side. I hope the signal gets a little bit better. I don't know why. I, I do know that the center of Yoyogi, there's a lot of dead zones in there. Well, they're fighting. There's a crow fight. They fight amongst themselves too. Let's get, get up here. I think the signal will get better if we can get a little bit further away from this part. There's some violent crows there. I apologize. Uh, we are in Tokyo, Irvin. 
I, I, my apologies if there's pixelation. I, I do intend to walk from Harajuku uh, to Shinjuku or take you on a Harajuku neighborhood tour after this live stream, but I wanted to confront confront the, the scandal or the controversy at, at the moment. And I think I've done that. Michael Sasana's here. Thank you for sharing the update on Japan's vaccination plans. You're welcome. The news is breaking. My treat for you for a nice colon. Oh gosh, I need that. I'm on, I'll search for a vending machine. From up here, you get a little bit of a, a crow's eye view of Nogi Park. I don't know how pixelated it is, if it's Minecraft quality or what. But that's the center of the park right there. And it's closed off. You see the green gates uh, right in the center of your screen that does, that's stopping the public from walking in to the construction zone where they're making um, a mass vaccination site, switching from the Olympic viewing point, the uh, event area for viewing the Olympics, which made no sense. Whoa, that was a pigeon which made no sense and changing that to changing that to uh, a mass vaccination site, which makes a lot of sense. Right now, the vaccinations, as I said earlier, 485,000 people a day are now getting vaccinated. Prime Minister Suga is getting closer to his goal of 1 million a day. He says he, want to get, he wants to get there by the end of the month. Right now, we're still vaccinating people over the age of 65. And I think soon enough, they'll be getting to people at the age of 47, which would be me. Wonder how long Kanai has to wait. She's in her mid thirties. That could be, that could be a little bit longer. Looked like sunny and windy. It's windy, that's why I'm using an external microphone right now, so the volume might not be as high, but it should be, it should be st still be pretty good. I checked the volume before starting. This is the road that's going um, uh, towards the glass toilets, which are not too far away, but I'm fine. I don't have to use it in the restroom. There's, a, there's a, um, an, air, an event area right here, which will probably get used in, during the Olympics, but I don't know what, there's Shibuya in the distance too. I don't know what they're going to, what, what kind of events they're going to have. So we know that they've, they've uh, 86, uh, which means cut out the live viewing area. What else is left? What do they, do they have taiko performances? Do they have something of interest to the city of Tokyo? Or do they cut it all out for the people? What's the, what's the purpose of even uh, hanging out in Tokyo during the Olympics? I need to know. So I'm going to check, check the event schedule. I think that they have more. Uh, released more plans and what's happening here Shibuya in the distance. We're about a 15 minute walk from Shibuya station. This park, there's a lot of um, um, events that happen right here. A lot of food stands on the weekends. It's usually quite crowded. The, the, there's a big, uh, a famous Thai festival, which is here. Um, I remember coming with, with Kanai to a Vietnamese festival. Some people had, had claimed that it was the, these festivals from the Southeast Asia that brought Deng fever to Yoyogi Park. I'm laughing because it was limited to just Yoyogi Park and they had to close down Yoyogi Park for a few days and spray because of a Deng fever outbreak about six or seven years ago. All right, I, I came this way because I wanted to give you a sight of one of the Olympic venues and then show you a little bit of the construction that's still taking place in Tokyo at the moment. As the preparations for the 2020, 2021 games uh, are ongoing, you're going to see that a lot of the city is fenced off, especially in, in the Shibuya area, uh, to prepare for the crowds of people that aren't coming. I guess they still had to prepare something. Probably doing nothing is, is the best idea, as, these, as there's a, a, a dog battle going on up the steps. You know, in Rocky, one, Rocky two, he get, he gets it. Adrian brings him a dog, right? Does anybody know what that dog's name was? 
DG22, a Harajuku neighborhood tour would be great. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. I'll tell you which one is not the fastest. The one that's all puffy. Buff kiss. Doug 35 for the win. Good call. We don't see Bub Kiss in, in the other uh, Rockies. I think he was just in Rocky too. You got Bub Kiss to train with or something. <laughs> that was funny. Or was it Rocky Three? I can't remember. I think it was Rocky Two. All right, there's a there's a fence here. A uh, Bud Kiss, yeah. Bub Kiss or Bud Kiss? I don't know. Rocky's uh, the Philadelphia pronunciation is hard to. It's in the neighborhood. It's all good. It's fenced off here, which means that the public can't walk in this, this direction. So the bicycles are, are going by right here. So it's a little bit dangerous. You got to watch. In, in this area of Tokyo, you really do have to watch where you're walking because you can get smashed by bicycle. That's the um, National Gymnasium in the distance. That was for the 1964 Olympics. It was such an iconic design back in the day, and it still is today. It's hard to, it's hard to miss it. You can see this um, from quite a ways away, even from do you see that skyscraper right there in the center of your screen? That's over, um, I think that's um, Arapungi Hills. So you get a nice view from the, the viewing platform up there too. Yeah. If you were to walk this way for 10 minutes, you get to Shibuya. Man. All right, I can let you vote now because we're, we're now at the end of the stream. The, con the controversial side of it is over, and I'll sum up before I, I cut off on the live stream. But do you want to see a Harajuku neighborhood tour, Omote Sando, or Shibuya? It's up to you. I'm leaving it up to the people. It's up to you. I can, I can show you Shibuya, Harajuku, in the next live stream in about um, 25, 30 minutes from now. Shibuya writes in here from Egypt. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I can't go to Egypt. Harajuku, Harajuku. Omote Sando. Oh, it's a real split decision. Omote Sando. I'm going by what you say here. It, it's totally up to the audience. Harajuku, Harajuku, Omote Sando, Harajuku. So it looks like Shibuya is canceled out. Patrick, ah, Patrick got in there, Shibuya. All three would be really hard. Harajuku seems to be winning. Harajuku, Omote Sando, Harajuku. I'm not going to that Apple store. All of the above. That's hard. Ikebakuro's off the list. All right, Harajuku with a hashtag. I don't know what that means. Peter, I'm not going to Saitama. All right. Off the list. Brooklyn is, would be Kudamai, which is uh, considered Tokyo's Brooklyn area. All right, it seems like you're going to be doing an, uh, a Harajuku neighborhood walk in about 25 minutes. Uh, this park, park um, refreshment stand is open, which is interesting. But for the most part, a lot of things are, are um, shut down for the state of emergency, which was extended to June 20th. So let me just sum up to you uh, this live stream for everybody who's joining me. Thanks so much. Um, I think we can come over here. All right, just to sum up here, the, the, the controversy was, was settled yesterday, but for a long time I've been following a lot of uh, people on the internet, especially Twitter. Uh, there was a petition going around to prevent Yoyogi Park from becoming a live viewing place, a live viewing site for the 2020 Olympics. There was really no need for it because international tourism was stopped, right? There was nobody coming in to go and woot. And everybody's got a TV here in Japan. I got a 65 inch LG OLED because I need to watch the Olympics, okay? And watch only in Japan on a 4K TV so I can make it in 4K. Ah, business expense. But never mind that. I just know that it was wrong for them to want to cut down the trees. That created a lot of controversy, especially with tree huggers like myself. I've hugged a tree and you know what? Hugging trees is kind of overrated. You get bugs all over you, ants. You don't know what's on those trees. But they don't deserve to be chopped down, especially the older ones that, that are um, bringing cherry blossoms. So that's been settled. I don't know if they're actually chopping down the trees to make the vaccination center, which would make no sense, right? Where's the spirit for the Olympics? The spirit is to chop down trees? Come on. We all know that that's not true. And spiders, Joy. Absolutely. So the controversy was averted yesterday when Governor Koike wisely made a pivot and said, look, we're not going to be making this a viewing pl place for live viewing center for the Tokyo Olympics. 
we're going to be making a mass vaccination center, putting the priority straight on vaccinating the public, making the public have so much more confidence in the government. Um, and it was, a, it was a pretty smart move. Um, and I'm glad that by consensus, that's why things take so long in Japan. Japan rules by consensus. There's no dictatorship or there's no executive orders here. It's all done by consensus. And it just takes a lot longer here to get things moving. But they did listen to the public and they did come to their senses. And now it's going to be a mass vaccination center for the um, police officers and firefighters. Now, this was not going to be the spot. As Ryan K writes in here for an iced coffee. Thank you. I'm going to get something on the way when I do the Harajuku neighborhood tour here. Um, the this, this spot for the mass vaccinations, and it still might be, is in um, uh, at Skiji. And I've taken you there with Eric Sir Six uh, about two and a half weeks ago. Uh, we walked around Skiji Market, the outer market, at night, which is really cool. If you haven't seen that live stream, we had a lot of fun. Eric Sir Six is, is such an amazing guy, and he even got me a present for, for my wife and, and little Leo at the end of it, which is so kind. I use that now when I'm editing. You gotta watch it to see what it is at the end. But um, the site was going to be that parking lot, which used to be the old Skiji Inner Market, which is where the tuna auction used to be. Now it's just flattened. It's going to be used as a parking lot in July for the, um, uh, for, uh, for the Olympics. So that's where all the, par the, and then you take public transportation from there. But until then, from uh, June 8th until it's a turned into a parking lot, that was a mass vaccination center for police and firefighters. Now, I don't know if that's still open, but they are making Yoyogi a site for, ma for mass vaccinations for police officers and firefighters. And I hope it includes YouTubers at the age of 47 too, because I'd love to be included in this so I could finally put this behind me and not have to worry about it and be able to go to the countryside and film more live streams and videos that you love. I need, that, I need the vaccine to do that. There is some graffiti in Yoyogi, by the way. This is a young people's area. Parking lot is exactly right. All right, so it looks like it's going to be a Harajuku live stream. If you have any questions related to this controversy, leave them down in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like live streams on controversy. There's going to be even more as the Olympics get closer and closer, and I'll take you to on location for you to check it out yourself. Um, since I'm, I'm here in Tokyo, I can do that for you. And uh, hopefully I can start to travel once again and bring you some live content from all over Japan. Got, got a new episode coming in the next next week or so i'm gonna have two two new episodes on the main channel if you haven't seen oh oh if you right now okay if you haven't seen the new episode where peter and i ride the shinkansen in a private shinkansen bullet train from tokyo station to shinaomori japan where the railway company gave us a private shinkansen even on the t time schedule they put party on it and you will never see that ever ever in the entire world and you'll never see party being used for shinkansen they used it, um, and it's in, it's in the video. So check that out on the new channel because uh, it definitely needs a little bit of love and could use some more comments on there. So leave me your feedback on what you thought of it because that helps me uh, convince JR to give me more Shinkansen jobs. <laughs> what was your favorite bento? Things like this. We want to hear from you. All right, take care, everybody. Uh, give me about 25 minutes or so to charge up the phone and, and, and settle into an area, and I'll show you a neighborhood, maybe the backside of Harajuku. Hopefully we have a signal there, gonna have to do a signal check and uh, I'll, I'll take you a little bit around. Um, a very unique area that's more diverse than people think. It's not just Takeshita Dori. Harajuku's got uh, a lot of neighborhoods and people live here. Oh, you are massive. That bird is like the godfather. Coming closer to me. That'd be really hilarious if he attacked me live. I'll see you maybe in 25 minutes.